Okay, so here we are in uh, Seaton Sluice, just near the coast, and we're on the hunt for a place called Starlight Castle. Now think of the images that that conjures up. Um, I'm thinking Camelot, princesses on white horses, and uh, downtrodden townsfolk sitting in the mud like on a Monty Python sketch. However, it's supposed to be a hidden castle. Now we're at the coast at the moment, but it's just up the coast and along Seaton Burn. Now Seaton Burn is the water source that hits the uh, North Sea here. So I'm going to have a little bit of look around and then we'll work our way down the uh, down the burn. So hopefully we should be able to find it. And it's a scorcher. It's 27 degrees. So let's see what we can find. Okay, here we are at pretty much the mouth of the burn, as you can see in the background, it's where it comes in from the sea and it heads up this small burn and eventually it turns into uh, Hollywell Dean, 
but this burn, this water actually stretches all the way up to the uh, airport and there's otters in it and all sorts of things. And behind me, that place there is called the Mel Mel uh, Men uh, Mental something, I don't know, no, Melton Constable. And uh, the local nickname is Hot Copper because it sounds like Melting Constable. Uh, but that's enough waffle, so we'll uh, work our way down here. But it's absolutely boiling, so we shall just keep going and see how it goes. Pretty low wind as well, which is nice. Helps when you're trying to film. So we'll head through here. Right, an information board, and can you see where I can spot? Starlight Castle. Now, I'm a bit worried. 1920, so what does it look like now? Probably bloody awful, but we shall continue. Okay, and I've spotted a natural spring. Now the way you can tell is, have a look. See all those bubbles? Water's filtering up. And then out into the river. It's tainted. It's been coloured. Okay, we should be getting close to the castle. I've just found some honeysuckle. Nice smell. So, I reckon another couple of minutes and we should be there. However, <laughs> if it's as much a ruin as I think it is, there may not be a lot left. So, we shall see. A lot of flies around here. The flies are doing a good impression of MPs round in expenses form. Nice. I can hear another natural spring there. Yeah, so it's nice to get out away from people. Just a little bit of nature, no din in the ears. So if there's anyone watching this who thinks, ah, I can't be bothered, I'll stay on the sofa. Get out, it's free. Anyway, let's see what's around here. There's a small bridge. So hopefully that'll be the right way. Now there's the old pipe that crosses Seat and Burn. And kids sometimes either climb over that or swing from it. I'd love to say it's some romantic pipe, but I think it carries sewage, so you wouldn't catch me on there. But there you go. Oh, look. Now, are they contrails or chemtrails? I don't personally believe in chemtrails. Now just at this point, through the trees, even though it's oversaturated, you can see the obelisk. That's the obelisk from a previous video. You could probably walk it from here, but I think there may be a fence and a place that's already used, so I would stay away. Hopefully, 
this castle should be around here. That can't be it. Are you ready for the big reveal? I won't need a wide angle lens for this. That's it. That can't be right. It's a doorway. <laughs> that ain't no castle. Well, I'm disappointed. I don't think King Arthur would live here. Well, that's disappointing. Castle. I might as well have gone to the beach and built a bloody sand castle. Very disappointing. So, I'm going to have a look around, see if I can find anything noteworthy, because that's hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. You know, unless the Starlight Castle I understand now, because there's no bloody roof on it. That's all you can see, the bloody starlight. And was that more or less unimpressive than Blackpool Pleasure Beach? Probably around the same. So let's see what else we can find. There's a better shot of the obelisk. Plenty of flies, so I've got the cap on, but not a lot here. So I'm going to sit down. You can see the end of that pipe, which again I think is sewage anyway. There are plenty of rushes down there if you want any fire starter. But I think the only way to find anything else is if I went up to Hollywell Dean, but not today. I can do a full trek. I'm going to head back towards the, uh, the beach and see what I can spot. It's actually very peaceful here. I've seen one person and that was it. So very lucky, apart from the flies, but that's what deets for and kills them. Well, puts them off. So I'm going to have a sit down, probably away from these flies, and I'll get back to you. You know, I didn't find a starlit castle, but it's definitely peaceful here. 
well worth a visit. Nobody here, nothing but birdsong, no traffic wardens, no taxes, no party political broadcasts by liars. So that's a, it's a you know huge bonus there. Uh, I've just seen a blackbird sunbathing because they do do that during the summer months. I like a bit of sunbath. And I'm still sweating to death as you can see. It's hot. It was 27 when it got here, it's probably about 26, 25 now. It's still hot if you're going up and down stuff. Whew. So. We're nearly back to the coast, so I'll continue. And in the meantime, let's have a philosophical chat about the death penalty. Just joking. Actually, that's a tough one, isn't it? Because, look, everyone loves a bit of revenge, but forgiveness is worth a lot more than revenge. There's the Dean there. Beautiful. Okay, so let's continue. And we're nearly back to the, the seaside. Time for some chips. Spotted a handy plant there, dog leaf. That's the one where, if you touch these things, stinging nettles, scrunch this up with a bit of spit, get the juice out and rub it on. Sorted. Well, it has an effect. <laughs> it's not going to cure you instantaneously. <laughs> <laughs> 